Alrighty, so I'm just gonna do a quick little comparison between these two sow bellies, and this one is from Rough Rider. This one is from Case. They both are carbon steel, and they have that yellow composite handles. Um, this isn't so much of like a which one is better or which one cuts better. It's just me no noting the differences between the two, because there are some differences, but they are very similar. Um, just to get started off, I'm gonna show you the boxes real quick. Case just comes in their ordinary small corporate box and then Rough Rider comes in this magnetic carbon box and then both are wrapped in this paper wax paper to prevent moisture from getting in because it will patina for that carbon steel um, right off the bat I do want to look at the the yellow composite handles so case they use their yellow Delrin and then Rough Rider they use um, just like a yellow plastic I don't think they have a name for it but you can see Rough Riders is a little darker than Case's. Case, you kind of have this creamy yellow. And Rough Riders is a little inconsistent color-wise. You got some light spots, dark spots, and then a little bit of like black specks. I try to rub those off. I did wash these um, just to get all the grit out and to show you the color very well. But... I like the yellow. The yellow looks really good, very classic. The Rough Rider is thicker, so you have those two pretty thick back springs. And even the liners are thicker than the case. Um, I, I do wish Rough Rider did make their back springs a little thinner. If I feel like, especially with these carbon steel blades or knives, they're just making the back springs thicker and thicker. Even on the cinnamon bone series they're pretty thick and it's kind of getting a little too thick in my opinion but both have a main clip point blade you can see that the rough rider has a match strike pull on it while the case just has a normal pull case their famous kind of rounded edges or tips and then rough rider has a really good point on it super sharp I have not sharpened this. This is straight from the box. Uh, Rough Rider has a mirror polished finish. Case kind of has like a, a satin, almost mirror finish, but not quite there yet. They both have tang stamps. Got that RR for Rough Rider. And then Case has their famous dot system for dating. Um, the Case's blade is a little thicker and bigger. I'm gonna do a quick measurement just for the, you that are curious. So case is about three inches, a little under three inches. It's like 2.8, 2.9. And then Rough Riders is about, I was like 2.7, 2.6. So case does have a slightly larger blade. And then obviously the bolsters are different that infamous R bolster, and then you have a pinched bolster. And in the case, you just have a smooth rounded bolster, which I kind of prefer. But you can see case, it's pretty fat. You know, it's like case is the, the fatter brother of the Rough Rider. This one's pretty thin, um, width wise. And then you have no, um, no line on the bolster, just a clean bolster for case. Half stops on the Rough Rider, but no half stops on the case. So just one smooth action. And then both have that tr traditional sheep's foot blade. And case, you can see, is pretty, pretty big compared to the Rough Rider. And fat too. You have this swedge on the blade. Case, you just have a normal curve. Got that USA, I think this is TB 339 CV. No stamp on the Rough Rider, except for on the other side. The RR, and then the case is blank. But again, a little rounded edge. And then Rough Riders is pretty pointy. So there's the sheep's foot. I actually prefer this 
shape sheep's foot because I think this is a little little nubby for me. But I digress. We'll go to this one has a weak kind of half stop. Then the spay. Pretty, pretty curb, especially for the case. Has this nice serpentine snake shape when you pull out the spade blade. Um, the Rough Rider spade blade is a little more aggressive, in my opinion. You have that nice point to pierce. Uh, this one's a little more rounded. Obviously, that swedge with that kind of horn looking top. But again, just CV stamp and then Rough Rider stamp. Then both sides are blank on that side. But very, very forward blade that you can use for whatever you use your spade blade for. But very comfortable in the hand too. The case, it is very comfortable. It is bigger. I think that's why it's wider. So it gives me more, more to grip more to hold and the Rough Rider is also pretty comfy. It's not as wide, but it is like thicker, um, like the spine of it. So it does give more, uh, more leverage or more, more grip, I guess. <laughs> so what, what it, what the Rough Rider gives in width kind of makes up for the, the fatness of it, but both are pretty comfortable. Rough Rider is smaller. I do want to get some weights real quick before I forget because I think the case is a little heavier. So the case is 3.29 ounces and the Rough Rider is 3.01 ounces. So case is heavier. But they're both very nice knives overall. The, the case has a more polished finish than the Rough Rider. You can see the back springs are almost mirror. And both have brass liners, which is good. You can just tell the case. Uh, I was going to say that these springs are pretty even, but they're not. They're a little off. But no, nothing's protruding. Very satisfied with these two knives. I like a sow belly. Good old sow belly stockman. All right, I think that is pretty much it. I'll put the specs up in the beginning of the video just to be more accurate. But very good over overall knives. I like them. I like a good sow belly. Um, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Like. Subscribe if you want to see more traditional knife videos. Thank you.